Close your eyes and focus on your breathing. Notice when it comes in, notice when it comes out, notice how it feels as it comes in and as it goes out. I'm trying to make it comfortable. And stay with the breath as continually as you can. This gives the mind a foundation, a good foundation inside. So when you think of doing something or saying something or even thinking something, you're coming from a good place. If the mind is running around all the time, it's like someone who's running around and you, then you ask them, that tree you just ran past, what was it like? Well, they saw the tree, maybe, but it was a blur. If you really want to know what the tree was like, you have to stand still and watch it. In the same way, if you want to know your mind, you have to stand still and watch it, and watch it with a sense of well-being, with a breath. This is a skill that's been passed on now for thousands of years. We owe a lot to the people who passed it on. Today is a day of gratitude. And it's good to think of all that you owe to the people who've helped you be a human being where you are right now, knowing how to train the mind. It's doing it primarily on your parents, but also on your teachers and other people who've helped you. And you think about it, when you were born into this world, what promises could you make to your parents? You couldn't make any promises at all, and yet they've invested time and energy, a lot of love and concern. And it took a lot out of them. You don't really know how much a parent has put into you until you start becoming a parent yourself. So think about it. They invested in you. And you want to make sure that you want to show them that the investment was well spent, that you're going to become a good person. You're going to become a moral person. You're going to become a kind person, a generous person. In other words, you're going to pass the goodness on. They gave their goodness. They invested their goodness in you. Of course, you want to repay them, but you also want to pass it on to other people. This is how goodness stays alive in the human race, by people appreciating the goodness that's been invested in them, having a sense of gratitude, and having a strong sense that the goodness that you've developed is not just yours alone. It depends on a lot of other people. And for this human realm to be a good place, you want to pass it on. So you think of your parents, you think of your teachers, and also think of yourself in your previous lifetime. You invested a lot in doing good. That's where you're a human being now. And you have the chance to hear the Dharma, you have a chance to practice the Dharma. The good things you meet with in life, as the Buddha said, come from Bhumpe Katabunyata, the merit you made in the past. So have some gratitude for your past merit. That's why you have a human mind, why you have a human body to begin with. If you hadn't had that merit, then no matter how much your parents wanted you, you wouldn't be able to be born to them. So have some gratitude for the past good you've done. You realize that this too is an investment. You want to spend it wisely. Don't just scatter it around. For instance, you have a human mouth. A human mouth can say all kinds of things, but it takes a lot to get that human mouth. So you want to have it say things that are worth saying, things that are true, things that are beneficial, things that are right for the time and place. As John Lee used to say, bow down to your mouth every day. Be glad that you have a mouth where you can say things, communicate things. So communicate things that are really worth communicating, not just what you feel like saying, but what you think would be a useful thing to say, true things to say, things that would be helpful to you and the people around you. And the same goes for all the other parts of your body. Use them well. Think of them as an investment you made, and you want to keep on investing in, to higher and higher levels. So have some gratitude for whoever you were in a previous lifetime. Have gratitude for your parents. Have gratitude for your teachers. As the Buddha said, gratitude is a sign of a good person. You appreciate the effort that people went into to help you be a good person. If you don't appreciate that, it's very unlikely that you will be good to other people. But if you do appreciate it, you realize goodness is something that's really worth developing inside and worth passing on. So even though meditation is usually a matter of focusing on the present moment, sometimes it's good to think about the past and how much you owe to other people and how much you want to spread that goodness on to other people in the future as well.